Now, Council Paul Mwite, if you're ready, you may now usher in your witness. Mr. Speaker, we are anxiously waiting for the Deputy President. Uh, my colleagues can stand here, can stand in. For me, let me make inquiries and find out where he's held up. We right. certainly wish to call him as a witness. Very well.
Yes, what is the point of procedure, Senator Boni? Unprecedented. To the extent that uh, when we stand down business in this house, it normally arises from a communication from the chair that you're temporarily, for a specific time, suspending the proceedings. You have not done this, and we are seated in the, cha in the chamber. The mess is in place. I do not know whether we want this to be the new standard, Mr. Speaker. Could you guide us? We have no idea how long we're going to wait. And time is running, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Senators, at the rise of the House at 1.15, I made it clear that upon resumption, the Deputy President was going to take the stand. We came in here, I communicated the program for the afternoon, and I said we're going to execute it with military precision, owing to the fact that we need to conclude business today. Senior Counsel Paul Mwite indicated that he cannot get hold of his client. That is not the concern of this house. So time is running. Order. Order, honorable senators. Order. The floor is available to the deputy president and no other senator or no other enemy. Well, the speaker of the Senate... Honorable Amazon Kingi, currently uh, presiding over the business of the Senate this afternoon, has just directed that the floor at this particular juncture is not available to any other senator owing to the... Enoch, I used very basic English. I know you. You have such a wonderful grasp of the language. You need not to get any clarification. It is exactly 15.04 p.m. this afternoon, being the 17th day of October 2024. The afternoon sitting of the Senate this afternoon was to kick off with the Deputy President taking the stand, bearing in mind the DP, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, is the sole witness in the case where uh, the National Assembly uh, through the move of the motion, Honorable Mwengi Mutuse has leveled 11 grounds for impeachment of the Deputy President from office. We have already dispensed with the prosecution side. And uh, during this afternoon a sitting, immediately after the commencement of business, the council representing the National Assembly have confirmed to the House that, in, that, that they do not intend to uh, call more witness in regards to this case. The counsel for the deputy president had requested uh, 
the House through the Speaker that any evidence where the witnesses are not appearing be expunged from the record. It is a moment of waiting at the Senate this afternoon as the House awaits the arrival of the Deputy President Rigadi Gashagua, who is set to take this stand at the Senate this afternoon and prosecute his case uh, through himself as well as his defense and convince senators why the 11 grounds listed for impeachment should be quashed by the House. Our dear viewers, the motion for the removal by impeachment of His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa EGH, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, has 11 grounds where the National Assembly is seeking to have the Senate uphold the charges, or at least one of them, to have the Deputy President cease to hold office today. The mover of this motion, Honorable Mwengi Mutuse, who also serves as Kibwezi West lawmaker, has told senators for the better part of yesterday and today that his desire through this motion is that the House finds the Deputy President to have committed the offenses uh, listed in this motion. And this afternoon, uh, the defense of the Deputy President, led by Senior Counsel, lawyer Paul Muite, will be seeking to water down those charges by uh, the evidence that they will be presenting before the Senate this afternoon. And to just take you through probably some of the charges that the Deputy President uh, will be seeking to counter this afternoon is uh, charge number one on the gross violation of the Constitution and any other law. This is passed on to Articles 150, Subsection 1BI of the Constitution. Charge number two in the impeachment motion by Honorable Member for Kibwezi West. The Honorable Member alleges in his motion that there is gross violation of Articles 147, Subsection 1, and 152, Subsection 1 of the Constitution, where the Deputy President is being accused of uh, undermining the presidency. Under Article 147, subsection 1 of the Constitution, the Deputy President is the principal assistant of the President and shall deputize the President in the execution of President's function. In uh, this motion, the Honorable Deputy President is accused of going in contravention with cabinet resolutions on matters evacuation of people residing along Nairobi River and that shortly after his excellency uh, shortly after being in contravention with the cabinet resolution the deputy